Hi friends, I'm Miss B and today I have a fun extension activity to show you based on the book I read last time called Andrew Henry's Meadow. If you haven't read this book or watched that video, definitely go check it out and then come on back. In the book, Andrew Henry and the other children create little houses based on their hobbies and passions. This page best shows the houses they make. Today you get to design and even create your own house that you would build with Andrew Henry. All you need is paper and a pencil, and then you can design the house that you would like to build with Andrew Henry. Don't forget to include your creative passions or hobbies, just like the kids did in the book. There's a couple of things for you to consider while you're drawing the design of your house. The first is perspective. You can choose to either draw the outside of your house, like Andrew Henry's, or you can draw the house so that the inside is shown and as if the house is sliced in half, kind of like this one. Or you could even do both. Here's my example of a double tree house connected by a bridge. When you're done drawing, add labels to your house to show all the different sections and what they're for. Let's see. Wait, look at this bowling ball. Here are some examples from some of my students. Ooh, that one looks like a castle. And it says not a man, okay? <laughs> Whoa, oh yeah, fishing. Nice. Yes. To take the project even further, you can create a model of your house. A model is a small version of what you want to build. You can start by finding resources in your backyard or even around your house. The recycle bin can be a great place to find some resources. In my backyard, where I am right now, I have a lot of wood chips. So I found some of the bigger ones, like these, and I'm thinking those could be some good resources for building my house. I also found some small sticks and twigs and some dried weeds that I think can make straw. And I thought that could be useful for my house as well. Once you start building your house, you might find that your original design is a bit more difficult once you're doing it with 3D objects. That's okay. It's okay to change and revise your plan. It's actually part of the engineering process. Just pay attention to what works and what doesn't work and just keep trying. Here are some examples of little model houses built by kids with natural resources. Let's review the activity one more time. First, design and draw a house you would build with Andrew Henry. Second, label your drawing. Third, gather resources outside or around your house. And fourth, build the model house. As always, enjoy nature and have fun.